Okay, so it's early on bank holiday Monday morning. Uh, I'm all prepped and ready. Uh, it's not raining right now, although it was spitting a moment ago, so I've got my rain jacket on. And let's get going to Peterborough. Should be a good day. The first part of today's ride is going to take me up the Cambridgeshire Guided Busway. I'm just near North Stowe at the moment, heading towards St Ives. And it's pretty good, smooth going, which is great. But it is quite windy, which is slowing down progress a bit. Today's ride would take me along the Cambridgeshire Guided Busway, through the town of St Ives, before heading out into the countryside, over the Fenland, heading west across the Great Fen Nature Reserve, then turning north, climbing through the village of Yaxley, into the suburbs of Hampton and Orton, crossing the River Neen, and then finding the Red Balloon location at the Spinney to the northwest of Peterborough Town Centre. Okay, well I've already reached St Ives. Um, we're about 15k in so far, and both myself and the day are warming up nicely. So, on to the next bit of the route, which is the bit with the most traffic. So, it's uh, rear light on for safety, and I'm going to keep my head down and get through and get out onto the road towards the Fens in the direction of Peterborough. Well, this is what we didn't want to happen. It started raining just outside Abbott's Ripton. Um, I'm going to soldier on for a bit without my coat on because it's so hot with my coat on. It's about 15 degrees, I think, today at the moment. Uh, but yeah, not the most fun weather for it. in the village of Upwood and Upwood has got everything you need. Uh, it's got a bench for sitting on, um, it's got a litter bin for my litter, it's got a book exchange in that phone box so I'm just having a lovely read and it's got a pub which is not open which is a good thing because that might make me want to visit it. Um, I didn't really enjoy the last 15k very much. There was a lot of fast roads, a lot of people whooshing past at 60 miles an hour, which never makes me feel very comfortable. But the weather's improved, I'm feeling pretty good, so onwards and upwards to Peterborough. I knew we'd get to this part of today. The fens have opened up into that very agricultural fenland, and the wind's cracking past right into my face at the moment at a rate of knots so it's quite hard work hopefully the wind's in the same direction on the way back because in that case it'd be a tailwind which would be good but right at the moment it's hard work I'm currently in Yaxley which is pretty good because that means it's the end of those long Fenland roads um, so last sort of almost 20k has just been straight road for a few k 90 degree bend straight road for another few k another 90 degree bend with very windy conditions but we're out of that now the sun's out uh, we've got about 12k to go till red balloon happy days I've only got about 2k to go now. Urban orienteering's going pretty well. Haven't hit any major blockages or anything. And saw some kind of retro train, so that was pretty cool. And yeah, now just past the centre of Peterborough and out into the burbs on the other side. Well, here I am. I made it. Um, it's closed, obviously, because it's Bank Holiday Monday. 
and I believe Red Balloon are only here two days a week. But there we are, behind those security gates is Red Balloon's newest location in Peterborough. Um, pretty good last couple of K through the city, got a bit lost around the hospital, but never mind. And here I am. So now there's nothing left for it but to turn around and go home. I'm just on the worst bit of the trip, the long roads by Great Fen here. But doing okay on the way back. The wind's with me generally this time, which is extremely helpful. Um, my right knee started hurting, which is weird. I have had knee problems before in my life, but only with my left knee. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and ignore that. And yeah, about 40k to go, I think. Back at upward. And now we've got a decision to make. Do I stop in the very inviting looking pub for some quick hydration? But to be honest, I'm concerned if I stop, it's gonna make it very hard to get going again. Then again, my knee is hurting, so decisions, decisions. Well, that's that decision made. This very patriotic looking pub appears to be closed so there you go no hydration for me well i've just passed through st ives which means i'm on the home stretch um about 105k down about 15 to go starting to feel it a bit which is fine because i'm quite close to home now but it doesn't bode massively well for three weeks time when i've got to do nearly 150k but i guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it onwards to home well here we are back in the centre of the village, I've completed the ride, so I've made it to Peterborough and back. I'm really tired but I'm super happy that I was able to complete it without too much training in advance, that's quite an effort for me. Um, so if you think that effort was worthy of a donation then you can find my Just Giving page in the description of this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one.